My name is Marty Wynn, and I wear a lot of different hats as an entrepreneur. So I'm a CEO of a technology firm. Also, I'm highly invested in real estate. I own a sports and entertainment firm and professional boxing, and I'm a senior vice president of a multi-level marketing E500 company. Hello, I'm Israel Wynn. I'm a five-time world boxing champion. I'm a nutrition consultant and a conditioning coach. I'm also an author, a mother, and a wife. I've also been inducted into the Hall of Fame. Don't you forget it. And, and you're, you're watching, watching All About, about the Wins. Everyday Hustle. So it's New Year's Eve and we decided to go to Marty's brother's house, Mark. And I had a chance to really hang out with my family, my father, my mother, and my siblings, my brother. And just have a nice, intimate family time. We haven't done that in a long time. We decided instead of going to New York and seeing the ball drop or all these crazy, busy places that you probably won't even get close enough to see, just go and spend some time with the family. You know, we don't get to do that often. You know, I really enjoy uh, New Year's, but we sat around that table, we had some drinks. Now, if you know anything about me, I can't drink, okay? So I wasn't drinking that night. I was drinking ginger ale. Everybody else was drinking. And it was so funny because he did something with this food. I'm talking about my brother Mark Wynn. I mean, he was eating all night long. And he'll finish and then he'll eat again. And what he didn't see me doing, I was sitting back looking at him like, I can't believe he's still eating. And the funny thing about that was, they took the food from him after he ate and they gave me food and he reached to go get my plate, unconsciously. <laughs> <laughs> the boy won't stop eating, but he's not fat. Only in some areas. He's big boned, heavily structured. We sit down and we decide to play board games. We couldn't decide what to play, so we decided to play Battle of the Sexes. And of course, the men thought they were better. We thought we were better. So one of the questions for the men was, what is the difference between pantyhose and stockings? As you see, they're having a argument about what they are. They obviously do not know the difference. Pantyhose is the one full up with the panty, connect to the stocking. Stocking just come right up to here. That's the difference. Pantyhose connect to the joint. Come on, man. Marty, we cut a couple of them off in our times, watch. Pantyhose come all the way up here. And the stockings stop right here. So that's what I remember. So now, yeah, I know the difference thanks to him. Pantyhose is Mark. How much you know which one you wear? I know I'm Marty knew a lot of the answers, like about like the control top versus the uh <laughs> the pantyhose and stuff. That's correct, pantyhose. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think that's the difference. I think stockings and pantyhose go up to here, like above by the waist, but I think one of them is a lot thicker than the other. Stockings are a lot thicker than pantyhose. Pantyhose are sh more sheer. You think? I think so. I don't know. You I don't wear them, so I <laughs> I, know. I don't wear stockings, I wear pantyhose. But I always assume that. No, because the thicker ones are tights. No, but they don't they don't have feet. Yeah. Tights, tights don't have feet. No, some tights have feet. Do. Yeah, they do. The tights have feet, but they're thicker. Uh, so I think this I think the pantyhose and the stockings are the same thing. It's just how high they come up. Because it controls the, 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 the middle part, the top. Yeah. But I don't wear them summer, spring, winter, fall, so I don't, I don't know. So fellas, when you're at the store and you're trying to decide what to buy your lady, stockings or pantyhose, ask the lady that's there to give you some help. I think that's why we lost? That was... No, no you no, know no, what? No. Marty knew a lot of those answers too with the... Kardashian. The weaves and the hair stuff. Yeah. You remember those? And the, and the, and the makeup, MAC and the... In the up, uh, whoever the other person was. Look, huh? let's see hey, it I never wore one of those. Rayon, Ma, tell me. Rayon, <laughs> Ray Ray 
Kotex. Go ahead. Kotex. Go ahead. No, it's Kotex. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And Marty do all the answers to most of the questions because he's home all day and he followed Isra around all day. So he realized that the difference in Kotex and nylon because he goes to the store and buy them. Marty's a metrosexual. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> he likes to take care of himself. <laughs> take long bow baths. Maybe that's the reason why we lost because he knew a lot about that. Yeah, <laughs> we, and did. we, did, we didn't know what uh, ACDC meant. Oh, right. I remember that question. I think it was, I said air conditioning in DC or something. Nine, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one. Spend some quality time with the family, and guess what? Happy New Year! to um, one of the properties that I got my eye on. I got my eye, I've been having my eye on this property for probably about the last year. It's a very, very good investment. Um, and a very, very great investment to put into our real estate portfolio because this particular home, the construction started back in 2008. And in 2008, you know, where the market was still, it wasn't, it wasn't soft, but it was just starting to, just starting to turn and a lot of people that got into building their own homes uh, didn't really know what they were doing I'm not saying that these people didn't but like so many other uh, individuals if you're not savvy in this you go through all these contractors and contractors uh, tend to not finish their job from this particular property I believe that the contractors weren't paid because there's a mechanics lien on this particular property that we're going to so I'm gonna go over here, take a look at the property. I've gotten uh, one of the individuals that I work with in real estate to, to do some title work, some title searches, and pull up everything from the moment, from the investment, all the way to where we are today to tell me exactly where the property sits. And um, I think something good's gonna come out of this. It's been about five years now since these individuals. 
division has been actually working on the property. Behind me, what you guys are looking at really is a home that I have had my eyes on probably for about a year now. The house went under construction about 2008. You know, I think it's awesome um, when people can get out here and build their own real estate in their portfolio. But what's happening with this particular home is that the, uh, the founders, I should say, the builders, actually bellied up on the home. So, you know, I spoke to a couple of people today. I know that it's going to foreclosure. I also know that uh, right now, country where I own the house. So what I'm trying to do right now, guys, is position myself down the road to be able to purchase this home as one of the investments to enter into our real estate portfolio. It's about 18,000 square foot, give or take. Uh, a lot of the uh, construction has been done, but there's also a lot of things that need to be doing that needs to be done on the inside for us cosmetic style. So it's about three or four hundred thousand that needs to go into the house. But you know, right now the house has been sitting, as you can see, the house is pretty much just changed off. Uh, a lot of the land still needs to be graded back out, and uh, the house needs a lot of love, tender loving care. So. I believe that I can give it exactly what it needs. So stay tuned because we're going to get this property. Mark my word. This is going to be funny. Today we're going ice skating. I decided to see if we could do something fun one weekend. Something different from going to the movies or going out to eat. So I researched ice skating rinks. You look at my eyebrow, there's a slit in my eyebrow. It's from the skates. But he wasn't skating. I was actually skating. I was I was I was actually uh I was actually at an ice skating rink. I think it was this one. No, it wasn't. Back in the day. I'm telling you. And see this mark on my eyebrow? You said you hit a wall. I hit a wall with my forehead. Come on, let me ask you a question. What happened to my eye? Do you remember the, the cut in my eyebrow? Tell Israel how that happened. You didn't say you were skating. I was ice skating. Oh, well now, now it's ice skating. You asked my father. Hey, Dad. Hey, tell Israel. Oh, what, oh, where did I go? I cut my eye years ago, right? Yeah. How did I cut my eye? What were we doing when you took me somewhere to, and I cut my eye open? What was, what was we doing? I was in the backyard. That's my, that's my, <laughs> that, that happened with my forehead, with my forehead. I bust my head, I bust my eye open. Yeah, you man, you bust your head up so many times I'm very apprehensive about going ice skating. Here's what I know. I went ice skating probably around when I was about eight years old and I slipped trying to do a front flip and bust my eye, my eye open. And a lot of people don't remember this, but me obviously, because I just spoke to my parents and they bought up every mark I have on my face, but they can't remember ice skating. I remember it. I think I'm telling it a lie as well, but it, it happened. I put my own. Well, as we were ice skating, I took Nyla, the little one. I needed to show her exactly how to ice skate because I knew that Nadia and Marty were probably better off together. Marty wouldn't act like he could skate, but he's trying to roller skate on ice skates. And that ain't gonna work. I knew how to ice skate. Doesn't work. I knew how to ice skate. From back in the day, can you bust your head open? Yeah. Tony, let's go over here and rest. Yes, this is our friend. What is this? Our friend. This is our friend. Skating with Nadia was pure hell. You know why this is our friend? Because I can rest my corns. You wanna go again? Not yet. Hold on, my feet are hurting. Not by yourself. She wanted to do her own thing. She didn't want to pay attention. She wanted to not hold my hand. If you hold on to the wall, cause listen to me, hard head make a soft butt. She was cool for about the first 30 seconds, but just like her daddy, she wanted to take control and be the leader. And so she wanted to go off on her own. Nadia, Jesus Christ, this child is hungry. See? Skating with Nadia is like having your kid in a wilderness of woods and a lion is coming. And if a lion is coming, you try to protect your kid. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to protect her on the ice. But I can tell you this much. Rudy's in the woods, she would've got eight. My back hurt. Oh, gee, my back, my feet, my back and my knee, my leg. 
All in all, we had an awesome time at the ice skating rink. I truly enjoyed spending time with my daughters and seeing them get the experience of going to the ice skating rink. And they actually enjoyed themselves. So I'm actually willing to take them back because I think it is a great exercise and it's something we should do more often within our family. I agree. Don't you think? I agree. Okay. We had a really good time and we need to do things, different things more often. Yeah. I really want to take them climbing next. No, that rock not. Rock climb, indoor rock climbing. Maybe, Stay tuned. Maybe, maybe indoor. I thought you were talking about mountains. So today we're gonna to speak about investing, guys, because where I come from, we didn't speak about investing. One thing I know, in order to make money, you have to spend some money. And where I come from, from the barber industry, you have to understand, I got into the barbershop industry, I was cutting hair, I was making money, and then I started investing money into opening up my own shop. And when I did that, I found the power of investment came from just simply positioning myself where I can give people opportunity, and they can not only get the opportunity, but pay back in full. So what I started to do is just cut hair, after cutting hair, rent booths out from renting booths, investing money from that into my first home, and then of course I sold my home, and I started understanding the power of not only being able to invest money, but money was given back to me. Today, I'm meeting with Marty and Ezra to help them put together a game plan because they want to invest a sum of money every year for the next 15, 20 years, and then be able to generate an income stream from that sum of money. And so my job is to put together the strategies that's going to help them accumulate that sum of money to then be able to withdraw the income for the rest of their life. Here's um, a comparison of, of five different type of actively managed portfolios. Mm -hmm. Level five is the red, and that's represented by 100% um, stock portfolio. Okay. Now, there's two things that, that how this is um, unique. The first thing is that it's only going to invest into um, areas of the market that are showing strength. Okay. It's not going to invest in, in, into any weak um, se uh, sectors. Okay. So basically, you know, a sector would be like technology. It would be like um, healthcare. It would be like um, in industrial stocks that build things, you okay. follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So sometimes, some years, some of them are, are not having a good year for various reasons, like financial stocks. Right. You know, over the last couple of years, they haven't had good years because of the uncertainty. Right. So they've been areas that you would have stayed away from. So the strategy would have avoided some, some financial stocks until they started to show better promise. Gotcha. And, and there's different methods of indicators that they look at that track that. And then it's tracked on a daily basis. So it's kind of like supply and demand. Once yes. they start to see it increase a certain amount, then they start to um, consider it to the portfolio. When I invest, I invest carefully, but however, very risky. I have a very high tolerance for risk when it comes to investing because of my age, okay? I'm not 60 or 70 years old where my risk tolerance need to be a, bit, a little bit lower. However, I invest very aggressively because I understand where I'm trying to be. And it's gonna take a lot of money to really get to where I'm trying to be by the time I get to that retirement age. So our goal here is to really choose a portfolio that best suits the family, choose a portfolio that best suits so when the girls are ready to go to college, they're already stable, they're already put in a position to where they never have to worry about income again, as well as we. We don't ever have to worry about income again. So our goal today is to stay in the blue, stay out of the green. If we're in the green, that's fine, but stay in the blue and continue to invest in compound interest 
continue to buy more real estate and invest into real estate portfolio. When you look at Marty and Israel, they've been very successful in establishing many dis different types of businesses that provide income today. However, those businesses may not be around 15, 20 years from now. So what they're doing is that they're taking a percentage of those profits that they're making and that they're investing into other strategies and vehicles that will start to kick in an income stream to help them maintain their lifestyle 15 to 20 years from now. Today my goal is to invest aggressively enough to make sure by the time we hit the mark of 50 years old that we no longer have to worry about income, our children no longer have to worry about income, and we have left a legacy for our children. When you were showing me the 1040, um, that there, there's a line on there that says retirement right. contribution, and that's where that contribution would go. Right. And then that affects your adjusted gross income. So your Schedule C is fat, right. but your adjusted gross would get lowered just by your contribution. So you get the best of both worlds. So when you go to apply for the loans, they see, okay, look, you got the income coming in, but you made a contribution to your retirement plan. But you're still real income. Right, yeah. Right. You just paid yourself instead of paying the IRS. Sure, gotcha, gotcha. And at some point in time, I guess I think I asked you to see this just to, just to make sure. If a person gets a check for $50,000, sure. He owes about about he owes about a little over thirty thousand dollars in taxes on that normally. If a person pays taxes on that hundred thousand, right? How do you well if you do quarterly taxes, you will find out. But I guess I guess my question is, if a person pays taxes on that, are they taxed again on that same money? Um. Well. Or are you taxed just on the interest of the growth? If you put it in a taxable account, then yeah, you would be taxed on interest or dividends, capital gains. But if you um, put it into a retirement plan or a tax deferred type of investment like a, a, a annuity, then you don't get taxed on that growth until you actually withdraw the money. The funny thing about what you're seeing is that he's interviewing me and telling me about the Roth and the 401ks, but actually I'm interviewing him, making sure that he's saying the right thing because I know a little bit about the Roth IRAs and the 401ks and the umbrellas and so on and so forth. But I'm gonna lean towards the Roth because everything he's saying is absolutely correct. Is about not only making money but putting up money to compound interest so we can live a little better life down the road as we get older and so our kids can have financial freedom as well. If I open up something here and let's say 15 years and I can grab me, let's just say I couldn't grab the 250 years. Why? Let's say I grab 150 years. But I got another basket over here. Yeah. That's, I'm grabbing an 80 from. I got another basket over here where I'm 200 from. Then I got my real estate working so it's all. So to open up, what do I need to open up account? Do I have to? Some people, I know some people got to make a deposit. Some people you don't. You can just open up one. With with this one, just fill out the paperwork with, and I bought a copy of that by so you can you know take a look at it. Um, this is a, a solo 401k, and there is two two, com, two forms that's needed. And what this does, it kind of goes into detail. It's already pre-filled out okay. and xed off. But what it goes through are the 401k guidelines. Another thing that we went over today was uh, creating a diversified investment strategy and tax strategy. So we talked about 401ks, we talked about tax e efficient portfolios, and we talked about tax free portfolios. And the reason why you want to do that is because they all provide special benefits in helping you reduce the amount of taxes that you're paying from your investments. So you don't want to have your money in too many in, in one particular category because it may cause too many taxes or it may cause cause you to have your money locked up or tied up for a long period of time. So by diversifying, you get flexibility, you get uh, tax efficiency, and then you get also the ability to have some great potential growth while reducing your risk. I'm excited about the kids' future. Their future is very bright. It is very bright because they have two parents that are very, very savvy in finances and investing and street smarts and book smarts. They got a well-rounded household of information about their future. So they don't have to worry about nothing. Street smarts. She is not from the streets. I never said I was. I'm street smart and business savvy. She's from Canada. What does that have to do with the tea in China? Just put it this way, when it's four feet of snow, they still go outside. A 
oblivious. Street smarts. Book smart. Street smart. She has none. Don't listen to him, please. Turn your TV off when he's on. <laughs> That's why they got it on. <laughs> follow me at Marty Went Online. And me at IG Win. And don't forget to visit NetStageLive.com and also follow us at NetStageLive.com. See you See next, you next week. week.